Yo, we back with another reaction, man. Hit that like, subscribe button, man. You don't want to miss none of these reactions. We dropping like five, six videos a day, man, on your favorite topics. Yo, we back with another reaction, man. We got it. Meek Mill, Soldier Boy, Drake, and Diddy, man. We're going to start this off with Meek Mill, man. You know, Meek Mill, um, he been trending, you know. He said he get ready to drop a project. You know, so he been calling some people out. You know, today he calling out DJ Academics um, and Fifty Cent. You know, he's saying that they working together. You know, to bring down rappers, and that um, they don't want to see nobody go up but them. You know what I'm saying? Meek Mill, uh, him and Academics. You know, I say he. You know, he he got rid of Meek Mill career. You know, uh, Meek Mill. He was selling hundreds of thousands of, you know, um, tapes until, you know, he started not to see out of eye with academics. And academics made his uh, label pull back on him, who Meek Mill was signed to. They actually pulled back on him, didn't spend the money they were supposed to spend. Because he was into this, you know, uh, dispute with media, you know. DJ Academics one of the biggest blogs. So uh, Meek Mill was, you know, going back and forth with him and academics. Uh, what he say kind of matter, you know, because a lot of these labels, they have budgets with him where they promoting artists through him. You know what I'm saying? He got big Instagram, you know, he, uh, he promote artists on YouTube. You know, he just like the main hip hop guy, you know, fire era. You know, he like the main hip hop guy, fire era, so. You know, he not liking, you know, Meek Mill not liking DJ Academics, you know. It caused a lot of friction between them. Um, Soldier Boy, you know, he wanted to answer himself in, and he asked Meek Mill, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of people said Meek Mill still haven't answered this question. He asked him why was he letting, you know, did he do something to him? And Meek ain't answer, but, you know, he answering everything else. I see somebody dropped a comment on my video, like, speak on what Soulja Boy asked Meek Mill. You know, um, Meek ain't respond back to Soulja, you know what I'm saying? He feel like, you know, uh, you know, uh, he ain't got to respond back to it, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Meek Mill feel like he ain't got to respond back to that because I guess he ain't got nothing going on with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? But Soulja Boy... He asked him, you know what I'm saying? What, what's up with what Diddy did to you? And a lot of people want Meek Mill to just come out and say, he ain't did nothing to me, we ain't did nothing. But it seemed like they can't get that answer. And that's the, that's that's all they trying to get out of Meek, you know? But he won't come out and say it. So I don't know if he riding, you know, that fame bus. I don't know if he riding that wave or acting like Diddy did something to him just so he could get his sales and numbers back up. But, yeah, Meek ain't clearing that up that uh, Diddy did something to him, man. We got Drake. Drake, um, the Kendrick Lamar album then got deep. You know, what Kendrick was saying, he had some things to Drake. Um, allegedly, some guys that worked at the hotel, they took Drake belongings and Drake ended up getting them, you know, getting one of their partners fired. So, this happened a minute ago, and uh, the guys end up selling the, you know, taking a picture of Drake items and selling it to Kendrick, and Kendrick put a little story on and spent it, and Drake hit the hotel up and told him he needed his stuff back, that that stuff, and the hotel hit dude up and told him, like, hey, what, what are those belongings at? Because how did his belongings get on Kendrick Lamar album cover, so... Drake got some deep going on with some guys that worked at a hotel in New York that stole his, I ain't gonna, allegedly they took his stuff or he left it in the lost and found and he wasn't able to locate it or he didn't know where it was at until now. And now that he know where it's at, you know, a lot of people saying that Drake went to the authorities or he called a hotel and told them that he better, you know, they basically better have his stuff back. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what's y'all thoughts on this, man? Um, do y'all think Drake should have just let Shorty and them steal a little belongings and, you know, basically, you know, auction it off and make their little money? Or y'all feel like, nah, 
it's time to be petty, get the stuff back, um, and call Kendrick out and call the guys out for taking his stuff. You know, the guys that took it said that they've been doing this. You know, they auction off a lot of celebrity stuff. They said this is what they do. They take celebrity stuff and they make money off it. You know what I'm saying? I guess this is an unwritten rule at hotels that, you know, if guests leave stuff or if you get your hands on some stuff, you could take it. And, you know, whatever you do with it is yours. What's y'all thoughts on this, man? Do y'all think that Drake wrong for uh, reporting shorting him? Or y'all feel like they wrong for trying to, you know, auction his stuff off to Kendrick to use against him and let Kendrick spin the narrative on him? Let me know. Hit the like, subscribe button, drop something in the comments. Listen, right now, right? Right now, on my page live, right? I'm helping the next five people that download the Sleeper app, right? Create an account. Inbox me on Instagram with the basketball emoji. Deposit match up to 500, meaning you're going to get some free money. You sign up, put 25 in your account. We're going to give you an extra 25 to come play with us, right? To come play with us on a sleeper app. And we're going to give you 30 days VIP where you could get free picks and make free money, right? Um, this is not going to last long. Make sure you take advantage, right? Make sure y'all take advantage. Uh, download the sleeper app. Inbox me on Instagram, Boss KO Music. Use deposit code Boss KO Music when you deposit. Send me a screenshot, right? We're going to double your deposit automatically when you use my code, man. Let's run it up. Let's run it up. Yo, a independent artist, if you're an independent podcaster, listen, don't skip off this promo alert right here. If you want numbers like this, if you want to be doing millions like this, right? I need you to tap in with me. If you want your songs to be doing numbers like this, if you want your songs to be doing numbers like this, I need you to tap in with me. I need you to follow my Instagram. Make sure you follow my Instagram. I need you to DM me Spotify Blueprint. I need you to DM me Spotify Blueprint. Independent artists, independent podcasters. I want you to make your first 500 to 1,000 within six months. I done made 10,000, 20,000 of different platforms. Right now, I have the platform that's going to pay us good. I want to give it to you. DM me on Instagram. I want to give it to you. DM me on Instagram. Follow my Spotify. These numbers are real. Go to my Spotify. Look at my numbers. I've been paid out this. These is real checks. Tap in with me. Tap in with me. Promo alert. Promo alert. Independent artists. If you're not an artist, if you know an artist, tap them in with me. Tell them, go, hey, DM him. Spotify Blueprint. I'm gone. Thank y'all for watching. Listen, another one. Only on a Payday Fantasy app. Download it, right? Go to my Instagram. Use my link in my bio, Payday Fantasy app. I'm going to show you how to cash out, right? I'm going to show you how to cash out, and it's hard to lose, it's hard to lose, right? Even if we lose once or twice, we still make money. Listen, there's no way we can lose with this, what I'm giving y'all. Tap in with me. Go to my Instagram, Boss KO Music. Click the link in my bio. Click the Fantasy app for Payday. Sign up. Click the Sleeper app. Sign up. But right here is the Payday Fantasy app, right? We going up. It's hard to lose on here. Right, we going up. I need y'all to tap in with me. I'm gonna show y'all how to get this money, man. Follow me on Instagram. See the results I've been getting. You know, come tap in with me, man. But it's hard to lose on a Payday Fantasy app. Tap in with me on a Payday Fantasy app, man. We going up.